Good evening again. It's still Wednesday, November 12th, and for the purposes of our third story in the countdown, the number is 1,455. That would be the number of the days until the next presidential election, November 6, 2012. Three years, 11 months, 25 days for Republicans to clean up their act or the exact opposite before making another run at the White House. A topic high on the agenda at the Republican Governors Association meeting getting underway today in Miami, Miami, Florida. Florida Governor Charlie Crist hosts himself a jilted candidate passed over for the VP slot for Sarah Palin. More about her presently. The three-day event supplying ample opportunity for political odds makers to hedge bets on who will be anointed. Among the headliners upon whose shoulders rest the future of of the GOP, if any, Minnesota's Governor Tim Pawlenty, Louisiana's Bobby Jindal, both once thought to be on the McCain shortlist. Jindal and Mississippi's Haley Barber, both taking part in an 08 post-mortem. The latter later honored at a special dinner. And former McCain campaign co-chair, ex-eBay CEO Meg Whitman, rumored now to be eyeing Arnold Schwarzenegger's office in 2011 on the docket for a press roundtable. As for Governor Palin, her day back in that white hot spotlight of the lower 48 to tomorrow with a morning news conference followed by a speech and a slot on a panel discussion titled Looking Towards the Future, the GOP in Transition. Asked this morning whether she is the party's future. Quote, I don't think it's me personally. I think it's what I represent. Everyday hard work working American families. A woman on the ticket perhaps represents that. It would be good for the ticket. It would be good for the party. I would be happy to go do whatever is asked of me to help progress this nation. Meanwhile, McCain, on his 14th appearance on The Tonight Show last night, revealed his own future intentions, if any. In 2012, you'll be 76. Still a young man. Yep. Here we go Can again. Give it another shot. Yeah, I'm ready to go again. Ready yeah. to go again. <laughs> I wouldn't, th I wouldn't think so, my friend. It's been a great experience, and uh, you know, it's, we're going we're gonna to have another generation of leaders come along, and I'll, I hope that I can continue to contribute. That's all. Time now to bring in Margaret Carlson, political columnist for Bloomberg News, Washington editor of The Week magazine, who joins us from Miami there to cover that Republican Governors Association meeting. Uh, good evening, my friend. Uh, good evening, Keith. Are we uh, are we worried? Are we, are we worried here that there would be nothing to talk about after last Tuesday, and now we have this going on? <laughs> are, are you sensing there that the, the Republicans really did kick off campaign 2012 today? Well, you know, we'll always have Sarah Palin, it seems. Uh, but here, actually, the governors are wanting to talk about 2010 because. The number 2012 is code for talking about Sarah Palin, which was where they do not want to go. Uh, you know, her saying that she doesn't re represent herself, she represents an entire movement that's going to save the Republican Party is just what they quietly don't want to happen. If they had their way, she wouldn't be here tomorrow. Wow. I mean, to, to what degree is that the other prominent Republican governors who got some passing mention during this campaign with an eye towards 2012, uh, Jindal, Pawlenty, Christ? I mean, would it, is there any sense that, that any of them are, are, are forming a power base behind Palin or are they intending to, you know, cut her up like a Roman dictator and smuggle her out under their robes? <laughs> well, they only say that quietly, Keith. Um, the each of the, you know, sort of Chris has his own posse following him wherever he goes, the lights come on. Uh, Bobby Jindal is the, is the boy wonder, and he attracts a lot of attention. Haley Barber is the elder statesman. Um, one easily doubled uh, his black vote in Mississippi, the only governor to actually uh, come out well from Katrina. Uh, Mississippi did so much better repairing itself than Louisiana. Um, and he will only talk about 2010 and the governors. And, you know, the governors, it, after covering the campaign, Keith, it's so strange to be among Republicans who aren't ideologues. Republicans can't talk. They actually have to deliver Republican governors. And so there's a lot of pragmatism here and not very much Sarah Palin talk, very much. Uh, what are we going to do about Medicare and Medicaid? What are we going to do about the schools? How are we going to rebuild the bridges and the roads? On or off the record, is anybody in the GOP hierarchy concerned or expressing concern about the fact that the governor seems to be on television more often than Ryan Seacrest is? <laughs> well, you know, governors like the, the, the Klieg lights themselves. And the minute she appears, she was here today briefly, and she's going to be taking up all the oxygen and all the lights all tomorrow morning, and they don't really like it. And is there somebody else in there who, who actually is a potential rival to her in terms of getting attention in, the, in this downtime for that party? Uh, I 
haven't seen Arnold Schwarzenegger, he usually attracts quite a crowd. Um, Meg Whitman is a little bit shy, but I guess if she really mounts this challenge to Schwarzenegger, she'll get more attention. And as I said, Bobby Jindal is the new young star, uh, gets a lot of attention. But Sarah is just a star in her own orbit. Like Lindsay Lohan. Uh, Margaret Carlson of Bloomberg News and The Week magazine uh, outside the Governor's Convention in, in Florida for us. Thank you, Margaret. Yeah. Good night, Keith.